Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Danny for Cupcakes with me, and today we're gonna decide which clay is the best one because I have no idea. Cold porcelain, polymer clay, and the paper clay from China. Before we start the video, please subscribe so you can find me again because there's a bunch of channels and press the bell button so you get all the notifications for new videos all my social media is up there and all my list of videos are under here you can find in portuguese and english old ones new ones all those goodies before that i want to dedicate this video to martina um thank you so much to leave me a message and i love that and we're going to start with the cold porcelain my favorite i have been working cold porcelain for a long time and then we're gonna use one of those little modes that we got from AliExpress lately to see how it works. Didn't put anything in the mold. It's just the mold. No, I uh, just clean to see if there's it, anything, but nothing else. We just press down, get the access off. For cold butter selenium, you just need to have a mat or something or or a table glass top or granite, something like that doesn't stick on the bottom. And now I got it every the cut it off. I'm just going to smooth the edges. Sometimes can have a little skin on the sides, so we're just going to smooth. But it's perfect. You can see all the details work just fine. Cut really easy. This one is the lightweight air dry clay or paper clay from China. It's really soft. I love because it's so soft. But it's going in on the silicone mode really easy. It doesn't cut with the cutter than I cut cold porcelain. That's all. Not, I mean, not using the same. It doesn't work at all. So we're going to use the silicone mode, press it down to get the, all the excess or any bubbles or air. And we're going to let it set a little. And now I open Scopey 3. That's polymer clay. You cannot open too thick or it's going to be stuck on your cutter and you're not going to be able to get it out. But if you make it thin like as I did, you can gently just go slowly and pull it out. And it works just fine as well coming off. All the details are there. Looks pretty cute. And let's see which one's going to happen. So I wait overnight and I bake the polymer clay, let it cool off. So let's see how the overnight drying look like. Okay, so here we have... Um, the polymer clay, I used Scopy, Scopy 3, and I put it in the oven for like, I think it was like 10 minutes, not even that, because it's very, very thin and very little. This one is polymer, uh, cold porcelain, as you can see, too malleable, you can play around or you will be able to glue and twist it, do whatever you want to do, and it's perfect, you can see all the details as well this one we can see all the details this one I it took really long time uh, like more than overnight because I did this yesterday in the morning and today I think it's already one so I needed to wait for that long and this is the Chinese lightweight um, soft clay let's see I think it called paper clay I'm not sure but I keep seeing that somewhere let's see it's too sticky in the middle, actually. One little place, see? You can see. Can you guys see? Then it's too it's sticky. It's too not dry. Right there. Right in the middle. It's too not dry at all. Right here in the center. Um, yep, it's too not dry. You can see, then you have all the markings. But they bubble up. See, is the part probably that I was moving around because it was driving, and that's what I said. And it kind of too wet here. Yeah, it's too wet. So I don't think this one is really good for molds because it's too really wet. Then doesn't want to come off. See, let me see. Uh, no. So I'm gonna put it back. Other than now, I probably messed it up already. So if you're using this little soft clay from China or Amazon, the hardy one, if you're using those type of clay, he calls super lightweight modern clay. I think that's how they call. Um, it is really lightweight and that's what I love so much and I really like it because it's super light and super soft 
and but like how long are we gonna need to wait to do this when silicone mode is better do by myself because this is gonna take too much of my time see look it's not dry it's all sticky and here's still and see and it's not perfect it's not um, even close to be perfect you still can twist it around because it's too wet but um, yeah I don't think this one is good for modes those two are really better than this one so let's see how they gonna react with those little powders I actually um, yesterday I got, so, uh, I got really excited like um, I mentioned then I used these powders from China before my videos on the eye um, the realistic eyes and then everybody in Brazil was asking me um, who had it in Brazil and yes I mentioned Diego Dutra and I think he he sent me a message he saw that I talk about him on the video and I think it's on his Instagram then he can ship internationally so if you guys want to know where you can get it he has like powders not just to make it shiny there's gold and um, you know rose gold all the colors and give such a life on them I don't have it because I'm not in Brazil but I don't know I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on them so you guys can know a little bit more about it too so let's see how it's going to work if we use this one and each one of those little clays so we have polymer clay we have co porcelain and we have the Chinese soft clay so let's see let's just start with this one I actually like to do this with my hand because I think it looks so much prettier see and it goes all and every places we need look how beautiful it gives such a life look look at that can you guys see it in the video I hope you can so let's see this one Cold porcelain is still my favorite clay to work. I still um, wish we could have some here. But look at that, how beautiful this looks. See? You can definitely just make one of this and put it in your jar, in your mug. And even putting this one like here or something like that if you guys want an idea of mermaid mug. But look how cute. You don't need anything, it's just a mold, it's just a cutout. Let's see how it's gonna work here. I'm gonna use the side because it's too wet. Look, that looks beautiful too guys. Look at that. And it kind of really gets the shiny because it's soft. I really love this one. I'm gonna need to start learning more and how to work with this clay because look how beautiful! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's beautiful! Can you see? So, yeah, um, we can work in any of them. You can do. Um, those little pretty powders you can paint you can do anything but this is the tree type of clay and how they look like like close to each other this one the polymer clay does the scopey um, I don't feel really comfortable in bending too much because it feels like it's gonna crack this one you can definitely bend all over and this was the china lightweight or paper clay and this one is the co porcelain then i feel like i can bend it bend it a little bit but not like too much but i still even though it's dry i still can give a little move around but it's dry overnight don't wait too much too so, yeah 
I hope you guys like this video and all those mermaid tales and please don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to give me a little thumbs up because really 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 help my channel if you want any information links material why I'm doing this what what did I use where to find it so under the show more and leave me a comment for me to be able to dedicate a video to you thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys soon bye